Hello and welcome to this week's Bible in the News. Europe has a new president. Germany's former defence minister, Ursula von der Leyen, is the president-elect of the European Commission and is set to become the most powerful person in the day-to-day affairs of the European Union. As always in this week's episode, we look at this recent news in the light of Bible prophecy. This is what Nigel Farage, the former UKIP leader and current leader of the UK's new Brexit party, said on the 26th of July 2019 in the European Parliament when von der Leyen Well, I may be speaking from the back of the chamber today, but as I predicted last time I was here, in the European elections, the Brexit party were very much to the front of the elections and massive, massive winners. And I come back to a place that has been humbled and humiliated. The European Council stitch-up has rendered this place impotent until today, when you've got some real power if you choose to use it. What you've seen from Ursula von der Leyen today is an attempt for the European Union to take control of every single aspect of our lives. She wants to build a centralised, undemocratic, updated form of communism that will render nation-state parliaments where the state controls everything, where nation-state parliaments, where nation-state parliaments will cease to have any relevance at all. I have to say from our perspective, in some ways, I'm really rather pleased because you've just made Brexit a lot more popular in the United Kingdom. Thank God we're leaving. But it is in the aspect of defence that I think people's minds should be focused. She's a fanatic for building a European army, but she's not alone. When it's completed, NATO will cease to exist or have any relevance in Europe at all. And of course, not to be left out of this, French President Emmanuel Macron, on Bastille Day last Sunday, stood at the front of an open-top car with his nascent European Defence Force behind him, looking for all the world like an updated version of Napoleon. (laughs) Be in no doubt, be in no doubt, five years of these people the European Defence Union will be complete. And what is there for defence can also be used for attack. And you as a House will have no control over it. Vote against this nominee. Strike a blow for democracy. Strike a blow for your citizens. Do it today. Thank you, Mr Farage. So who is Ursula von der Leyen? She is a 60-year-old German member of Chancellor Angelica Merkel's centre-right Christian Democratic Union Party, which was a successor to the Catholic Centre Party. She has, in the past, called for a United States of Europe and is committed to further integration and unity of member states. She believes in a European army. These three points are of high relevance for us as Bible students. When one reviews the prophecies of Daniel, Ezekiel and Revelation, it becomes apparent that the Bible speaks about a union of nations that occurs at the time when Jesus returns to the earth. This union of nations occurs on the ancient territories of the Roman Empire, a revival of that system the Bible in symbol depicts as a beast. This united states of the kingdoms of men has an army, which is deployed against God's people and against the Lord Jesus Christ himself when he returns. And there is also a religious element which rides this beast symbol, helping to direct it. And this is depicted in the symbolic prophecies as a harlot woman with a figurehead termed the false prophet. Writing in 1897, one Bible student called Samuel Garrett writes as follows, The beast seems to require either a republic or a democratic empire. The Church of Rome would accommodate itself with equal ease to a Holy Roman Empire or the United States of Europe, end quote. And that's taken from a commentary on the Revelation of St. John, considered as the Divine Book of History, pages 250 to 251. 
In Revelation 17, we read of the leaders of the territories of the beast depicted as ten horns. Revelation 17, verse 12 to 14 tells us this, And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings, which have received no kingdom as yet, but receive power as kings one hour with the beast. These have one mind, and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. These shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them, for he is Lord of lords and King of kings. And they, t they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. Therefore, as we consider this week's news of a new Federalist leader of Europe, who is committed to a religious political party and who is in favour of a European army and further European integration, we rejoice, for we are surely seeing further steps being made in bringing about the picture of the world that the prophets of God have recorded in the scriptures of truth. That picture which heralds the return of the Lamb of God, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will return to set up the kingdom of God on earth. So keep watching and waiting with us for the fulfilment of the prophecies. For we know that the God of heaven shall set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms. And it shall stand forever. Daniel chapter 2 and verse 44. This has been Matt Davies with you. Join us again next week, God willing, for another Bible in the News. Music